Well, the people in charge of Colorado's new universal preschool program were called to the state legislature today to update lawmakers. So far, the rollout of the program has begun a little rough. Here's Marshall Zellinger. I want to start by highlighting what did work in the system. I learned this a few years after preschool, but before you give constructive criticism, it's best to start positive. Colorado is now eighth in the country in terms of four-year-olds enrolled in preschool. Universal preschool issues we've investigated in the last two months were the focus of this hearing in front of state lawmakers, issues laid out by Universal Preschool Program Director Don Odeen. We've most commonly heard questions about the matching system, about funding structures, and communications around full day preschool services for children with qualifying factors. Last month, six school districts sued the state over universal preschool, asking a judge to give power back to the districts to place students in schools instead of an algorithm run by the state. The lawsuit also asks a judge to force the state to pay full day funding for 9,100 preschoolers whose families thought they qualified until they were told the money was not there. And what we've done behind the scenes to address these challenges hasn't been something you or the broader public has heard enough about. Odeen talked Standing about tweaks to the matching system that would lessen the burden on preschool providers. She also gave a forward-looking focus on making the system easier for providers and parents, but without many specifics. So we've already started working on solutions that will enhance the experience for both of them starting next year. I heard you all say we're working on year two enhancements, and that really concerns me because we haven't even got through year one. One of the year one concerns was around students with special education needs, students with IEPs, individualized educational programs. That lawsuit I mentioned earlier also claims that if a state matches a preschooler to a school that cannot support that student's IEP, that school district the student lives in could still be sued, even though it had no role in matching the student to the wrong school. We have planned enhancements for next year that will include the pre-population of students with an IEP prior to matching.